I want to talk about in this video the best gift that you can give your child, hands down. I think this is um, one of the biggest things we miss out on in life. Wait, 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 wait. Don't move a muscle. Press that like button. Before you go any further, just press that like button. Following this method, you will easily be able to give your children thousands of dollars once they're ready to go out into the real world. So first, let's look at something called SPY. It is an ETF that replicates the S&P 500. Let's say back in 95 when I was born, my mama would have bought me a couple shares of it. One, let's say she bought one. October 12, 1995 is when I was born. SPY had just came up. It was around $58. So let's fast forward to when I turned 18 back in October of 2013. We sitting here at September 9th, so that's the closest we can get. $169. <laughs> so something that cost roughly $60 now costs $169. That's almost triple, tripling in value. If you have bought 10 of those, you have bought $10,000 worth of that back in 95, that's $30,000 that I could have had when I walked out the house. But you might say back in 1995, Money, value of money was way different. So let's look at how much $58 was worth in 95 compared to 2013. Something that cost $58 in 95 would have cost $88 in 2013. You still at least doubling your profit. You might ask, what is the S&P 500? It's just an index, index that tracks the largest 500 companies on the United States Stock Exchange. Simple as that. Even if you didn't have $50, $60 at the time, let's look at this retirement calculator. Let's say the child is one. So we go from one to 19 to get an 18 year period. You haven't saved up anything for retirement. They got fractional shares now where you can invest five, 10, 15, 20, 30, $45 a month. Let's say you invest $20 a month into something that's giving you roughly a 10 to 12% return, which is on average with what the market has done. That's $12,000. Simple as that in less than three minutes. Easiest way to make $12,000, give it to your child. This is why I always stress to people that all the extra stuff that you're doing, it truly can wait $20 a month. If you ever go to the club, you cannot sit here and say you don't have $20 a month. You paying $20 to get in. Guys, I know you definitely paying a dub to get in. You have no excuse as to why you cannot put $20, $15, $10, $5 a month into an ETF. Uh, S&P 500 ETF, you can choose any ETF you want. This is just one of many. So my whole thing is I'm not spending no kind of money until I feel like I have gotten myself situated where if I did have a kid right now, they'll be able to grow up and walk out into the real world with 20, 30, 40, $50,000. I want all my nieces and nephews to be able to ask me for 15, $20,000, not no five, $10. I'm not doing that. I'm making all the necessary sacrifices right now so my kid is good. So my kids ain't never, never, ever, ever got to grow up the way I did. I don't have no kids. I ain't got no kids on the way. I ain't expecting no kids. I got brothers who got kids. A whole bunch of them. I got God, I got God children. I don't want not one of them to ever feel like they desperate for any kind of money. When you was 18, you was braiding hair or doing lash or you wanted to do it, but you was like, dang, I know I can't do that because I can't afford the equipment. We 24, 25, and it's still people saying that. Had your parents been able to just make that simple sacrifice of $10 a month, 
five dollars a month you'll be straight out here so it's so selfish of us to be sitting here right now not willing to make that sacrifice for real for i want to be able to give my kids a million dollars when they walk out the door i want to be able to call my kids and be like yo let's let's hop on the boat and ride down to wherever i don't know I want to be able to do stuff like that, but that kind of stuff costs money. If my kids don't want to go to college, they ain't got to go to college because they're going to have the money to do whatever they want to do. Money is truly power. Knowledge and money is truly power. You see how the world operates right now. And, and black people growing up in low income areas, it's a repetitive cycle. We plan into the roles of systemic racism, oppression. We plan right into their hands. So we really got to cut that extra stuff out. You, you can afford $10 a month. And if you can't, then you need to develop another side hustle. You need to figure out a way to go make $10 a month. I know you can figure out a way. It's no reason our kids should be born into poverty. I'm not going for it. I ain't going for it. So when people ask me to do stuff, if, if I tell you I ain't got the money for it, I, I got money. That ain't the issue. I'm telling you my financial plan ain't on track with me spending that kind of money right now. So if I get on social media and I talk about $15,000, $20,000, $30,000 invested, that money is supposed to be sitting there. I'm not supposed to be spending that. When I write out my budget for every paycheck that I get, Every single dollar is accounted for. Every single dollar. I will not have my children born into poverty. It's not happening. The sooner you start this, the sooner you can let off. And to be honest, it's a, it's a psychological game. Once you get going with it, you're not going to want to stop. You're going to see yourself cutting out expenses. You're going to see yourself making your monthly expenses just cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. You can start figuring out ways how to save money. You can start figuring out ways how to make money. You can put all that money aside for your kids. And do not stuff it in a mattress because you just saw the inflation calculator. The value of money decreases with time. This is a known fact. History loves to repeat itself. You're supposed to have fun and enjoy yourself, but you got to take care of your priorities first and foremost. And even if you ain't gonna have kids, I know you would love to say, oh, I just made, I got a 10, extra 10, 15, $20,000, 18 years down the road. You got somebody that you love that's having kids. You got a, a, a foundation that you wanna donate to, a charitable foundation. I'm not telling nobody what to do with their money, where they invest it or what, how to save it, none of that. This is just me giving out different options for things that are available. So take the information as you may. So by being able to do this, we are eliminating a lot of the disadvantages that we as black people are born or that we have to take on when we are born into this world. Growing up in a poverty stricken area, a poverty stricken household, low income household, you surrounded by crime more than likely it's a trap. It's a repetitive circle of children getting caught up in, in things that they shouldn't be caught up in. And typically the common denominator between all of those children is that they don't have money. If you 18 years old and you get to walk out into the real world with 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 thousand dollars, I don't personally know one single person that was able to do that. This is so simple. This is so simple. You you can literally change your whole family if you just follow this. The problem is that my mother didn't have $10,000 to invest when she was having her kids. She had us pretty young. They, she didn't have money growing up. She grew up in poverty in a low income household. So it's up to us to make those sacrifices for our kids to be able to invest 10, 15, $20 a month 
if that means being able to give them 10, 20, 30, $40,000 when they get ready to walk out the house. Even here in our early 20s, we still young, we still got a lot of time. It don't matter when you had kids, if you start putting that money aside early, a couple years early before you even had kids, that's just, they just getting the money even sooner. Or they have more time to let the money grow. That's how that work. I appreciate y'all watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, send this video to a friend. Especially, everybody got kids. Everybody got kids. So, whoever got kids need to see this video. Whoever got children need to see this video. I appreciate y'all.